Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me. I'm going to shuffle the cards three times and then we'll get right into your reading. Okay, what's happening with Taurus? Okay, Taurus, let's find out what's going on. Okay, what's happening with Taurus spirits? The first card you have is the High Priestess, Taurus. And I saw this a couple times as I was shuffling, so you need to use your intuition about something. It's showing up as the first card in your reading, so this may be very significant here. And here you are, the Empress, male or female, a lot of growth happening around you. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, Taurus. It has something to do with something you're using your intuition. We have the queen of swords now. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. But I feel like you're thinking a lot right now. What is happening with Taurus? The center card of your reading is the lovers. This is Gemini energy. I'm seeing you being presented with a choice to cut something off with the Queen of Swords energy. There's something you need to keep, something that needs to be cut off. I have the Page of Pentacles. So this is good news. Good news, it's a message. It's sitting right underneath the wheel of fortune, turning in your favor. We have the seven of wands here. So there could be something that you're fighting for. The death card is here. This is Scorpio energy. Yeah, I'm really seeing here that you need to make a choice and the fool. So something's ending and you're starting on a new journey with the fool. And you're not sure exactly what are the steps along the way, but I'm seeing you taking this leap of faith using your intuition. Why is the high priestess here? The two of swords. Justice. You could be dealing with the Libra and the Hermit. I feel like you're you're really going within looking for answers. And there's a decision showing up here that you haven't been making. But this is a win-win situation. There's a wish fulfillment for you, but you need to make a choice, Taurus. Your intuition's telling you exactly what to choose. Why is the Empress here? We have the star. The star is what the Hermit is carrying around in his lantern. It's a wish fulfillment. You're a very old soul, and there's something that you want that's going to be here for you. I'm seeing you with the Three of Wands energy, turning your back on the past, looking out into your future, and you're hoping for this wish. You're kind of in a waiting stage. The Sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck, so this is Leo energy. Yeah, there's definitely a wish. We have the Star, the Sun, the Wheel of Fortune. Something that's going to make you very happy. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? We have the Devil and the Magician. And messages. 
I feel like there's something here that you're resistant to letting go of. You're resisting letting go of something. Something or someone. And your energy is the magician. You're trying to manifest and turn the wheel of fortune. And I'm seeing something happening very quickly here with the eight of wands. Something, this manifestation is working for you. But I feel like there's a, there's a lot of determination with the devil showing up. Why is the Queen of Swords here? We have the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Tower. There's someone here, it could be a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, I have all the signs here. Just telling you the energies that are really standing out to me here. I feel like there's someone in your energy that you had to cut off and because they were breadcrumbing you. And I'm seeing this person rush back, rushing towards you with their sword up. They're not even thinking about what they're going to say before they say it. And I see you here holding up your sword to this person. This is demanding truth. You'll listen to them, but they need to tell you the truth because you already know the truth. For some reason, this causes a tower moment. Why is the tower here? The moon, some type of secret. This person's coming to tell you the truth. You could be dealing with a cancer. Why are the lovers here? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. There could be a divorce here. Are there someone really manipulative in your energy? Just hard-headed, manipulative person. I'm seeing a decision being made here. There's a choice, and I'm seeing you making a decision to choose a new direction and leave this person. That's what the choice is. You're choosing a new direction with the Two of Wands. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? We have the Nine of Wands. The Strength card. Could be dealing with the Leo. And the Four of Pentacles. There's somebody that's going to be coming to you with an apology or some type of gift wanting to offer you something Taurus and this person is wanting to fight for this connection with you they don't want to give it up they're holding on to you very tightly this is someone that has a lot of love for you but they were being very cold why is the seven of wands here The Three of Cups, they're wanting a reunion with you. This is someone that I'm seeing ghosting here with the Four of Cups, someone that ghosted you. Or you ghosted them. They're coming to you wanting a reunion. I keep getting repeated messages. But I see new love coming into your life. I feel like you're rejecting this offer when this person comes back. I'm seeing new love come into your life. Why is the death card here? I keep seeing the chariot, which is cancer energy.
there's an ending here because this person cannot take control and they can't take control, get out of their head, quit feeling stuck and show up here with communication, which is what they want. They want to tell you the truth about something. Why is the fool here? We have the hangman. The king of wands. I really feel like Taurus, somebody really, really wants you. They're really up in their head about this connection with you. And I'm seeing them, they do eventually take a leap of faith. And these are either internet messages, text messages, and start sending you messages. Because there's judgment on the bottom of the deck. This could be a blended family with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, let me grab you a couple of Moonology cards, Taurus. Does Taurus need to know spirits? We have a fiery climax approaches. So I'm feeling like for some of you, there is a reconciliation here with all of the aces, the renewal. You are good enough. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. And on the bottom of the deck, we have a new romantic cycle begins. So I'm not sure exactly. I'm seeing new love come into your life. And I feel like for a few of you, there is uh, someone from your past returning. Okay. Let me just grab a couple of these. What does Taurus need to know, spirits? Okay. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And deception, someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship, which is why we got the devil card. On the bottom of the deck, let go of control issues, allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay, Taurus, so these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help. And I send you guys lots of love and light. Thank you for being here with me. Namaste.